I was mad at his image. This is what has he said in church. Hear me and hear me well. Welcome back to the channel Football Fans. It's Football Fans Voice here and it's Yimzi. Edache, how are you doing, man? Doing all right, man. I'm doing fine. We're here this time to discuss the Nigerian Premier Football League. The league has started already. Four games played. Yeah, most things, four games played. And Remo Stars are already top of the league. Rivers United in second. Enyimba in third. The league is taking shape already. But a certain name is not among the top teams. Lobby Stars, what is happening? Lobby Stars are seated. 20th position. Lobby Stars, con they, they were league contenders last season. Yes, last season, Lobby Stars were league contenders. At the point, they were on top for month, for like for months month or two. Yeah, months, months. For a month or two. And so unfortunate that we've we found Lobby Star right at the bottom, right at the bottom, as landlord of the bottom, as we speak. And what has gone wrong? We understand that an administrative change occurred, and Dominic Yofa is no more the head, the chairman of Lobby Stars. And there's a new chairman, <laughs> Dr. Philip Nongo. I've never heard of this name. Have you heard of him before? I've never heard of Dr. Philip Nongo. I don't even know. Is he a professional doctor? I have no idea. Or a doctor in education? Let me just, let me just read out the <laughs> other uh, members of the board. Okay. We've got Dr. Yogunu Malu, who serves as a secretary. We've got Chief Solomon Andy. We've got a chief also. Oh. We've got Harry Yachi, Francis Ejiga, and Sir James Yopu. And according to yeah, the statement that was released after Dominic Yofa was let go, they said they'll be representing the government at Lobby Stars. So the, this board represents the government. So what is happening? And there's been another disturbing news. And lots of people don't know about this, but more than 15 players, more 15, because these are the ones we, we've seen, like we learned and we learn and we understand. And it's verified. 15 more than 15 players have left Lobby Stars and a total new crop of players came in from nowhere and some of them have never tasted professional football before others from national league and there's been a massive change I think, they, they, I think this is these are one of the reasons why they are stayed to it yet and another one I feel is that they're playing away from home but but that's Lobby, thing they're playing away from Lobby home. They've been playing away from home for two years now. So yeah. it is not a new thing for Lobby Star. They have been away from Aperco Stadium for two or more years now. And but the situation Lobby Star found themselves is as a result of a, a, a governor bringing in new managers to manage this team. And, and these managers are not inclined with, with sporting activities at all. Come. We are managing Dominic, you fine. We are managing Dominic. Although Dominic was not a, a, a that creative, he was not innovative to take Lobby from where they were to where we want to see them as far as and as football lovers in Nigeria. Lobby is is like a household name in Nigerian football, in Nigerian professional football. Okay, but how right. come week four of the professional league this season, Lobby is seated right at the bottom? And see, Lobby had a draw to Aqua United. Lobby has lost to Rivers United at home. Lobby lost to Imba away. Lobby lost to Casina away. Lobby, Casina, Casina, three, 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 three goes to nothing. What is happening? Total overhaul of the Lobby starting. 15 to 20 players going out. 15 to 20 players coming in new. Mind you, these guys that came in new were not from one or two of the professional team. They were from neighboring villages. <laughs> yes, because in the preseason, in the preseason, that was the whole idea about uh, going to Boko to play preseason match, going to Castanala to play your preseason match, going to go to, to prepare for games before traveling for the, the four-man uh, show that happened somewhere up there. So, the preparation wasn't proper and the recruitment process was totally wrong you woke up all of a sudden in the morning you see you, you are you sacked that's i hope is that sacked? i hope these players who were laid off is that were, sacked? Were, were paid is it their, off or sacked i hope these players who were laid off were paid their remuneration I doubt. because I doubt. You see now the right. reports that <laughs> players are being old which standard league will lay off pay you 
They are monthly earnings because at his stance, Lubi stars players are old. They are remunerations under this present administration. Under this present administration, I think um a few um, days ago there was a, a release out there that the government is still working hard to 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 pay to pay the salaries of the players. I, I know some people might argue that this is another factor that has made this team suffer early in the league. One key advice to the governor, one key advice to the governor from me to him is this: see, there's a way, there's a way he could put the lobby team as a private limited company, so that professionals, professionals who are inclined with sporting activities and footballing activities who are dedicated to this job will handle a lobby star. The lobby star is not supposed to be a dumping ground for politicians who you are looking for where or where to compensate them after political season to just be, uh, be managing life. No. Football is football. Politics is politics. If you are not football inclined, you there's nothing you can do about it. And mind you, not just being a food, not just to be football inclined. If you are not a football administrator, you are not a football administrator. You can be a professional player, an S player, but you need to be an administrator in football. It is a real time business, not a political thing. So it should not be a dumping ground for for political allies who are seeking uh, somewhere to pet and just recover. There's no. There's been call for Dominic Yofa to 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 be reinstated. I, at, this point, at this point if nothing is done if nothing is done we will watch we'll be here and we'll watch lobby star one of the pride of north central football okay one of the pride of north central football and northern football lobby is a big name and at this point if nothing is done we could see lobby relegating now you know how nigerian league player it, it, yeah, we all know how nigerian league play if you sit there for too long Without winning again, low busy to win again. Hopefully, they don't relegate. And um, another big North Central team is back in the league, Nasra United. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. back on track. And Yusuf, Yusuf, he's, he's, he has four goals already this season, and they look like a team ready for business. Yusuf is yeah, an amazing and fantastic ninth, player. Ninth, you know? ninth, ninth in the league, and they look like a team who can easily. If Lobby yeah, yeah, if Lobby is letting us down, we can count on Nasra United to keep going. Hopefully, uh, Lobby can fix the issues on ground, get a new chairman, get new admins that can take this team back to where they belong. This team should be to be fighting. Should should have be fighting hard to even get in a political to cycle. Even in a political cycle, we have technocrats who are politicians who can also dive into dive into football management not just bringing people who have zero idea about football administration and management okay so i feel the governor the government can do better let's let just right time it's right time it's right time, it's right time, it's right time for the government to intervene and get something done because we can't afford to have lobby star relegated this season no guys I bet you you wouldn't want to see one of the biggest Nigerian clubs get relegated and they've had a very poor start. Hopefully they can get their acts together and start winning games. So don't forget to like, drop your thoughts. What do you think about Lobby Star, their new administration, how they've been suffering? Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Support us, like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Cheers.